Every year some of my solar lights quit working. Today I'll show you how I fix one of them at no cost. This is our offender today. I have a pair of these and I paid a lot of money. These were about 40 bucks for the pair and one of them has stopped working. I really don't want to throw them away so today we'll fix it up. Oh, we start with the battery, see if it takes a charge, make sure the terminals aren't corroded. In this case, this thing is in impeccable condition and takes a charge right away. No problem, it's just dead. Disassembly on every light is going to be different. In this case, we have some screws in the bottom to release the electronics housing. Our panel is up top and there's that small wire in between them. I kind of have my suspicions where the issue will lie. It's almost always with the solar panels or corrosion in the battery compartment. Once we're inside, we can get a look at things. A little bit of corrosion on the screws, but not much to speak of on the board. This board just takes the voltage from the solar panel and charges the battery. Turns the light on if the solar panel voltage drops below a threshold, i.e. it's dark outside. So we'll go ahead and take our voltmeter and measure across the terminals from our solar panel and sure enough there's no output. So we know the problem lies either with a shorted output or with the solar panel and it's almost always the panel. If you're a maker or electronics enthusiast, make sure you check out PCBWay. They can make any circuit board you desire, provide the parts, and even assemble the board for you. They now offer fully transparent tracking on your order so you can see where your project is at from start to finish. Now that we know the issue lies with the panel in the top, we can go ahead and figure out how to get in there. In this case, it looks like it's clipped together, but it also looks like we have some glue on there. Now, the glue that's used in most factories is just the same as the, the hot glue that we use at home. So we can, we can get in here, even if it's sealed up. By pushing on the clips, the top panel comes off pretty good. We don't have access to the back of the solar panel yet because of this glue, so we're going to go ahead and debond that. We can now see our problem there. The wire has just fallen right out. So that was our issue after all. We'll go ahead and take some uh, isopropyl alcohol. This is just a spray bottle from the local dollar store. I love it for this application. It, it almost immediately debonds hot glue. I just Put it on there, work it underneath a little bit, and it'll just pop right off. It's just wonderful. Once it sets for a few seconds, you can go ahead and convince that panel to pop out of there. And sure enough, that's where our wire is supposed to go. It's not bonded there anymore. Now, in some cases, we can fix this. I go ahead and put my meter across where the wire used to be and I got a hint of voltage on the meter. Now, that means that our panel is working and maybe salvageable, but we got to see if we can solder to it first. For this stage, we take a little bit of flux from my flux syringe and put it on here. You don't need to do this step. You can go ahead and just use, uh, use your normal solder. With an iron on high heat, we go ahead and we try and repair this solder joint on the back of the PV panel. Uh, you'll know if it works when the solder blob takes and sits still and doesn't come right back off. In this case, I was unsuccessful. I'm unable to save this panel. I couldn't get solder to take to the back of the panel again. You could maybe try some JB Weld or something like that. It has to be conductive, but there's an easier way. Outside, I had some spare broken lights as well, and I found one with a good solar panel, or seemingly so anyway. Went ahead and popped it out. It's just from a dollar store light. Good reuse of old junk. We go ahead and desolder the wires from this panel and replace them with the wires from our broken light that we're trying to save. Make sure you get the polarity correct. It's going to only charge it one way. There's a positive side and a negative side. It may or may not be labeled. Now I go ahead and test my panel with the meter measuring on the board and sure enough I'm getting negative 1.2 volts. That's just because I have my meter leads backwards here. But that is a good charge indicator on the bench here under the bench lights. We are good to go. One problem is this panel is not the right size to fit where the old one came out. 
no problem. Hot glue to the rescue. We go ahead and hot glue this down and then I'll fill the existing gap around the outside with hot glue. It's transparent. It'll seal it up just wonderful. You can also use automotive goop glue that uh, that settles out a little bit flatter and a little bit clearer if, uh, if aesthetics are an issue for you, but this will be completely functional. We just need to keep the water from draining down into the light around our panel. cleanup of the simulated candle and the inside of things around here a little bit with a rag. I didn't do a nearly as good a job as what I could have, but this thing's going back out in the garden where the bugs live, so I think it'll be good enough. I went ahead and put the battery back in. It's fully charged now, so it should give it a good head start. And sure enough, with the bench lights off, it is working. Got a little bit of a bad connection on the uh, on the power switch on the bottom. Typical, more corrosion. Go ahead and uh, spray that down with a little bit of contact cleaner and then fluid film lubricant. It works wonderful. Sure enough, we're good to go. I'm happy about this. I've saved this relatively expensive light from the trash with no cost to me. Just a used solar panel out of another dollar store light. Wonderful. Pretty happy how things look out in the garden here. These hanging lights add a, a little bit of neat ambience compared to the other kind of Noma style lights. Anyway, we saved something from the dump. We were able to fix it, do it ourselves. If you like these kind of videos, please consider hitting a thumbs up down below. Truly appreciate it. Thank you to my Patreon supporters and channel members. You make these projects possible. Cheers, guys. Good luck in all your projects. Bye.